The following portion of Daytime is sponsored by Millennium Physician Group. A simple blood test can tell you a lot about your health, including your risk for diabetes. And here to share how testing can measure your average blood sugar level is Dr. Andres Santayana. He is with Millennium Physician Group. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Good to have you here. So we're talking about this blood test called an A1C. What, what is A1C? So A1C, short for hemoglobin A1C. Um, it's actually a simple blood test that what it does is it essentially looks at your average blood sugar over the last three months or so. Um, it's used for screening for diabetes as well as monitoring diabetes. Who should get that A1C test and, and when? Yeah. So probably more people than do get it mm. <laughs> should be getting it. So like I said, for one thing, it looks to screen for diabetes. So if you have any risk factors and your physician will usually determine that, um, they can order your A1C and look to see if you have an abnormal average blood glucose. Um, they will check people who usually are in their 40s just as general screening, mm -hmm. but it can start as young as 10 years old if you have certain risk factors. So what are those risk factors that we should look out for? So one of those being obesity. Um, type 2 diabetes is most prevalent in obese people. So if you're overweight and you have any other risk factors including just a family history, um, just a sedentary lifestyle, so a lot of people working from home nowadays, you know, that tends to be the issue. Um, certain ethnic groups are also at higher risk, and even women who've had gestational diabetes, where they had diabetes in pregnancy, um, they're at an increased risk of developing diabetes as well. It's one of those diseases, unlike so many others, that you can actually prevent in some instances, yeah. right? How? Sure. So. Diabetes, like I said, is average blood glucose writing higher than usual. Um, so for most people, really, that's a lifestyle thing. So eating healthy and getting regular exercise, like with so many things, is really crucial to this. So, you know, avoiding some of those extra sugary drinks and desserts, um, some of those extra simple carbs like rice and pastas and potatoes, and trying to have a active lifestyle. And so if you do have diabetes, despite your best efforts, could mm -hmm. you, is it something that can be reversed with that kind of lifestyle that you just described? Sure, in, in theory, um, at least very well controlled. Oh. So not, you know, medication is there to help. Uh, some people need medication. Type 1 diabetics, unfortunately, they just don't um, have the insulin production in their body to be able to control diabetes. But for most people, type 2 being more common, that's something that with aggressive lifestyle changes like healthy eating and exercising regularly, you can really keep that blood sugar low and not need medication to control it. And it, you could find out your risk with that simple blood test that you exactly. mentioned. And, and it's that simple, right? Like this is this is not an involved yeah, uh, yeah. process. This is just <laughs> no, a no. blood test that when you go get your blood drawn, it's one of the things that they screen for. Exactly. It is something as simple as the same tube of blood that they're using to check for other things. They'll also be able to screen for um, diabetes with that A1C. And just talking to your physician, sometimes they'll go through your family history with you, maybe just talk to you about how active you are and your weight, and they may determine that you're at increased risk. And like you said, something as simple as a blood test will tell you. All right, Dr. Andres Santayana, thank you so much. Thank you. Good to have you here. And if you'd like to find out more about this or find a physician, schedule an appointment, you can visit millenniumphysician.com. Daytime, we'll be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by Millennium Physician Group.